Hey Art Geeks, it's the only Donia you know. We're in the Rhino District of Denver, Colorado for Colorado Crush. We're in the Rhino District. <laughs> We've seen some arts already. Yeah. Uh, watch your step on this weird thing here. There's some nice stuff. We're just like at the most north part. We're at Walnut and 32nd in Rhino. And if we're walking south on Walnut, there's a lot of the arts are kind of just right off the street. Um, right now we're gonna go over to Epic Brewing because I heard yeah. some good things. Have a couple of beers and then head more south to see all the, all the arts, all the arts. Yeah, everything's so beautiful and the weather's great. So <laughs> y'all should come out. Yeah, Denver's oh. fucking rad. <laughs> Barrel beer, uh, barrel like the stone, barrel beer company. Uh, all I can think of when I think of barrel is like Queen Barrel from Sailor Moon because I'm a giant fucking nerd. Okay, let's have some beer! got to chat with some guys or some of them are local some of them are visiting it was a bachelor party but that's what happens when you go to a brewery on a weekend let's continue the adventure so we accidentally found one of those like uh sensory containers here in denver seems like super unique because they actually have this entire room here and they got the lights for you to get in where it's usually i've seen before it's just like pitch black when you jump in but essentially what they're doing is they put a, like, a whole bunch of salt in the water so you float like in the Dead Sea. And then you put into this tank, sensory depri deprivation tank. Some people have said that they've seen like hallucinatory things by being in all these tanks. It's, uh, it's pretty intense. Oh, there we go. So this is the music that's on. So to turn the light off, you just boop. Yeah. So you are in full control over the environment of... So right when you get in, well, you shower before, mm -hmm. and then you shower after. Um, 90 minutes, a voice welcomes you into your float. After the 90 minutes, that light pops on, and mm -hmm. the voice welcomes you out, and then you take another shower. Oh, wow. Yeah, so you just essentially are taking a nap mm -hmm. on some water. Hey, some <laughs> humans need that. I found Max's house. Look. Hey, 
We stopped at a cider bar. Oh, so we were here before. There was another, there was an artist over there before, but the mm -hmm. line was just so long I couldn't take it. But we came back and the line was manageable, so we got this, which is actually like a coffee cider. It smells so good. It smells exactly like cold brew. I know you're looking at it and you're like, bitch, how, how is this a coffee cider? It's, <laughs> it's like see through. But yeah, it's very, very subtle. I didn't realize this would be so subtle. It's very good. Um, so if you don't, if you like stouts or whatever, um, this might not be for you. It's more for me. <laughs> yeah, no, but it's it's uh, pretty coffee, like definitely in the smell. It's got like a little like kind of aftertaste, but it's, it's but it's a mellow cider. Mellow. It's not dry. Mm -hmm. It's very like middle of the road in a good way. I, I like it a lot. <laughs>